What attracted you to natural medicine? Well, the reason I was attracted to natural medicine was really due to my own illnesses growing up as a child. And I had chronic asthma, bronchitis, tonsillitis, and severe allergies. And these um, actually all morphed into chronic skin conditions, which went on till nearly the age of 30. And but during this time, I had actually gone to see so many doctors and allergists and dermatologists and all of them just kept giving me more prescriptions, synthetic medications over and over and creams and treating me symptomatically and it wasn't working. Not only was it not working, I was getting worse and worse and worse. So really, at the end of the day, I had to turn my back on mainstream medicine and look for alternatives. And so because I already had an interest in natural medicine from the age of at least 12, um, I decided to study uh, uh, an advanced diploma of naturopathy at the time which included herbal medicine and all these other subjects as well of course and so for me that's where you know I came from a place of my own illness and um, and then that's how I got into natural medicine. How long have you been practicing? Well I've been practicing for over 20 years now I qualified with an advanced diploma of naturopathy botanical herbal medicine uh, nutrition, homeopathy, iridology, counselling and a few more. I was lucky to win a scholarship for botanical herbal medicine which financially allowed me to set up a full functioning herbal medicine dispensary. And before I qualified I worked as a remedial massage therapist and a lymphatic drainage and reflexologist practitioner and before that I was a um, events coordinator for a special school called Hopetown Special School and this was a school uh, that I helped raise money for um, because they had uh, mildly intellectually handicapped children that they catered for. Where do you practice? Well, I've practiced in both Sydney and Melbourne. I founded the Macquarie Naturopathic Clinic in Sydney and I was there for nine years and during that time I opened another clinic in Melbourne in Little Collins Street and then in um, another one in Collins Street in Melbourne called Melbourne Natural Wellness Clinic and both Sydney and Melbourne were both multidisciplinary clinics with quite a few practitioners and staff on board and since then I've now sold those clinics and I went on to write a couple of books um, and now I'm living on the Mornington Peninsula which is quite a way, well it's an hour outside the uh, Melbourne CBD where I practice in Mount Martha, beautiful Mount Martha but I see people all over the world and with the beauty of Zoom, um, we do consultations interstate and uh, America and Greece and really anywhere. What do you specialise in? Well, I treat everything. However, these days I specialise in what I'm most passionate about and that's treating people's skin conditions. Mostly because that was my problem and therefore it's dear to my heart. And I'm passionate about clients helping them to find the answers and the causes to their skin conditions. And some of the skin conditions include hormonal acne, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, candida, tinea, fungal infections in the skin, impetigo, folliculitis, hydrogenitis superativa, urticaria, Schamberg's disease and alopecia. So that encompasses quite a lot of skin conditions. And over the last few years I've really seen um, skin conditions have sort of morphed into a new kind of condition due to what's been going on and I'm seeing a new type of skin condition plus really a lot more alopecia as well. Tell me about your book. Well the idea of the book was born from patients coming in and saying to me that the doctors had told them that they would never be able to cure their skin condition, that they would have it forever. And I just felt it just, just wasn't true. So I wanted to reach out to as many people as I could, a much larger audience than just a one-on-one -on -one across my table. And uh, so that's why I wrote the book, to help people understand this is how you can treat the skin inside first, most importantly, and also topically. And I cover things like allergies, environmental toxins, stress and nutrition, and I give a supplement and herb and diet protocol to follow. So it's really quite involved. What are you most proud of in your career? 
Well, lately I'm most proud of my skincare brand called Lind Park Creations Naturals and my passion has always been to be an apothecarist. So mixing formulas and finding the right ingredients for that particular skin condition is really important to me. So even though um, I've been concocting customizing creams for my patients for over 20 years, I didn't actually start this skincare brand until a few years ago. And so now the brand carries around 17 products in different variations and I'm really strict and I won't use any products that are going to harm the skin. I just don't see the point. I wouldn't do that in any way. I don't want to take risks or cut corners. Of course they're all vegan, they've never been tested on animals, only humans and um, the quality is really high and for example those expensive pure essential oils, these are not cheap. So. No cheap artificial fragrances are used that harm the skin and create even more inflammation. The quantity and quality of the ingredients is very high as well. They're definitely not mass produced in China like most brands out there, which is why they may be so cheap to buy. But those cheap creams that you buy on the shelf, the supermarket shelf, they either do nothing or they just come at a price to your skin and may cause an even worsening of symptoms um, to that outer skin layer. So it's the brand that I'm trying to put out to the world is really helping people's skin. What's your main form of treatment? I would say my most effective treatment method is my herbal medicine formulas. Again, I would customize each particular formula to suit the patient's condition. So for example, if they came in with hormonal acne and they're an adult female, for example, or polycystic ovarian syndrome with say low progesterone um, and high adrenal hormones plus maybe a sluggish liver. So I would formulate a tincture of liquid herbs to treat all these systems all in one mix. And we would go with that along with diet and along with a few other things. But the main um, form of treatment would be this customized herbal tincture. What advice would you give to people that have never seen a practitioner like yourself before? Well, you need to ask yourself how long have you had this particular condition for and is your current treatment method that you've been given actually working? Um, have you given it enough time for it to be working or are you suffering any side effects to possibly these um, prescription medications that you've been given? And ask yourself, are you wanting a more natural, holistic approach to your health? See, naturopathy is not for everybody. If you want a quick fix, you need to go and see a doctor or dermatologist and they will give you the steroids. Um, but they're, they're things where the steroids won't actually get to the source of the problem. The condition could possibly come back and back and back. So with what I do, we really are committed to finding out where the problem is coming from. Um, and that could take a little while. And that could mean that you may need to do a few functional testing. Um, to, to work that out. Um, but if you're after somebody, somebody who will listen to you and spend some time with you and recommend high quality vitamins, minerals, herbal medicine, put together a customized herbal tincture for you, help you with your diet, help you with your energy levels and help you with your sleeping, all those things um, and get the skin regenerated as quickly as possible, then I welcome you to make an appointment and make a booking online through the booking tool. And I hopefully will see you soon and we'll get your skin sorted. <laughs>